I'm running out of time. Literally. No. Figuratively. And why is that a thing? Why did the kids have to go and change the meanings of both literally and figuratively? It's bonkers town. Total insanity to not know the difference between something being literal, like running, which I'm not doing, I'm just standing here staring into a mirror, talking, but I could be figuratively running, i.e. out of time, like faster than a locomotive, speeding bullet, or any Superman ever could, hurtling towards this, this, this existential dread, this ending of... I know. I know. I know. It's just become so real. It's like a grandfather clock, ticking and ticking, never ending in my grandfather's living room, while I'm trying, to no avail, fall asleep. Tick. 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 Why? Did our grandparents have grandfather clocks in the 80s or 90s or ever? They're just constant reminders of time and that chime at every single 15 minute interval. What? Is it looking to cash in on some 15 minutes of fame? Like some star search celebrity? Well, now America's got the voice idol. So you see what I did there. They really are the same but different. Though Ed McMahon was no uh, Simon Cowell or Ryan Seacrest, he did offer us some publisher's clearinghouse, pie in the sky, multi-million, press your luck, money, honey, am I right? Oh, and Ryan doesn't hold a candle to his idol, Dick Clark. What in the New Year's Rockin' Eve is he doing hosting Wheel of Fortune? Wait, I actually think I might like him for that over Pat. Though Vanna is timeless. Always will be. Like Goldie Hawn and Death Becomes Her. Siempre viva! Live forever! Oh, she was stunning. They were, are, still stunning. Isabella Rossellini, Beryl Streep, and so, so sad about Bruce Willis. Time is just slipping from him. If only he drunk the potion. But see, that's just it. That's what I'm talking about. He's almost out of time, literally. As sad as that is, why does that happen to us? Why can't we find our magic potion, an elixir of life, a fountain of youth? Where's our science? What is going on? Why does time keep marching on and on and on and on and... It's just this reality of our human flesh bodies is like, yeah, sure, on the one hand, we have consciousness, we have awareness, we somehow are in touch with the universe in some trippy, the universe knowing itself kind of level. Like the cosmos in its billions and billions of years, trillions of stars, planets, solar systems, galaxies, we know all this shit, yet we still, like, we have an infinite universal timeline, except for our own. We're finite, infinitesimally small bits of stardust hurtling towards oblivion, only to become stardust again. Like, sometimes I feel like the cosmos is cold and dark, and while that's 1,000% true, there's almost something beautiful in that thought, I guess. I get to this place where I'm like, wow. I'm part of the cosmos, so I guess I'm not alone. Like, we're not truly alone in this blue rock rolling around this ball of light in this Milky Way, in this galaxy, in this unit. I'm sorry, I went on another tangent. It's coping or something or whatever. I'm talking through, it's 
getting to some consensus on what running out of time means for me, us. But it only digs in deeper, it being time. It's like, hey, I got you, but you don't get me, if that makes any sense. Come on, Thomas, pull yourself together. Look, it's FUBAR. Thank you, Adam Goldberg. Though, to be fair, it would have been epic if like Vin Diesel would have explained its meaning in that same awesome field walk like Groot or something. Fucked up, beyond all recognition, FUBAR. But it is fucked up, really. All of it. Look at me. Well, you can't because I'm standing in front of a mirror talking, but figuratively, look at me. All I ever wanted in this life was to feel like it all mattered, or at the very least, that something mattered. And though I know I made a matter of this insane idea of stardust, I can't shake the feeling that it doesn't matter, that nothing matters, that I don't. Time sucks. It's a shitty lifelong companion. This arrival at my half-century mark totally fucks with me. I hear it in my head. What is it you can't face? And though I'm no Julie Andrews, I am faced with a complete and utter crisis. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for making me watch that every year back in the 80s and 90s. I feel like the sound of music is timely and timeless and weird and bizarre and fun and silly and poignant and... All of the things but Maria wasn't ever really a problem to solve, like, they gaslit her so much. She just wanted the captain. Well, who wouldn't want a piece of that fine Christopher Plummer? Oof. But she got out. They got out. The family fled. I remember wanting to flee with them and get out and frolic it in the mountains, singing about how alive those damn hills were in the Edelweiss-lined fields of green. But who's got fucking time for that, really? Not me. I've got half of my life gone, and what do I have to prove for it? Not some fabulous family gallivanting in the Swiss Alps, or a platoon saving a soldier, or a, a magic potion to rescue me from the bullshit that is my life right now. No, I've got fucking SLD! Yeah, I know no one knows what that means. I just made it up right now. Like, the kids do all the time these days. Like, LMG, FML, YTK, FLMAO. Oh, and also, why am I now getting reprimanded for a fucking thumbs up on my phone? Seriously, fuck! Now I'm running, literally out of time, figuratively in my mind, because I've got SLD. SL motherfucking shit ass D! student loan.